A green and pleasant land, but not quite green enough. Centuries of farming up here on the Yorkshire Dales uplands and exposure to the elements has left swathes of bare rock. It's called the limestone pavement and it's taking this landscape in the wrong direction. All of this rock you can see is limestone pavement. And now here at Ingleborough, a vast rewilding project is underway involving Natural England, WWF and the Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. So we're going to lock up lots of carbon here in the environment um, by things such as tree planting, allowing vegetation to come back onto the limestone pavement and up the sides of the mountain, and also by restoring and protecting the peat bogs that you find on the mountainside. Even things like the mosses growing on the dry stone walls are locking up carbon, soaking it up from the atmosphere. So that's going to help in the fight against the climate crisis. Hundreds of new trees are already in on what was heavily grazed pasture, with wild Ingleborough builders a blueprint for landscape restoration in the run-up to this year's climate summit. Now this is a key part of the project, it's a tree nursery, and although it might not look like it, inside this relatively small pen there are 30,000 trees. They're also restoring the famous dry stone walls here, another piece of the wildlife jigsaw. The wall itself does actually create a nice habitat, uh, even for small mammals and, and birds as well. Uh, but it's also part, part of the landscape, part of what makes the Yorkshire Dales what it is visually. The sheep are staying, but in fewer areas. Local farmers and villagers all involved. Hopefully if we can inspire people to make a few um, changes that will help either lock up more carbon or improve the water quality, um, then those small wins all add up to a, to a bigger a bigger victory. It's hoped that victory will also see animals like red squirrels eventually return here in a rewilding of both flora and fauna. Peter Lane, 5 News.